Hey traders, this is Christian from Hertz Tribeca Trade Group and uh, this is your quick midday summary of the price action today for Friday the 2nd. Jobs Friday uh, as well as a lot of trade uh, headlines on the tape this morning. Uh, woke up to hearing that um, you know possible trade proposals out there and, and negotiations maybe, maybe starting uh, and then later they kind of came out and squashed that story. So um, you know, one of the reasons why we have a reversal, but most importantly is the price action. Taking a look at S&P futures, uh, you could see the two, this white line coming into the picture. That's the 200 day moving average. So first attempt at reclaiming is um, not, we're not able to get, get there. That's not, you know, it's, it may not be the, the end of the story or the, the end of the move, but, you know, because we have had a nice move from the lows this week, we'll see what happens. And if you, you know, if you look more instead of um, at S&P futures, if you look at SPY, it's going to show the same picture, a little bit of a different candle because on Thinkorswim, the SPY candle will only uh, start at today's open while S&P futures are going to show that pre-market activity. So slightly looking, you know, different looking candle there, but same, same thing. And you know, what I would watch at this point is basically your stops. And um, you know, I'll talk a little bit about how I've been trading this day. And um, so SPY, I, I would watch, you know, we're still moving down here. The VIX is still very well bid. So basically, you know, watch the, the open, uh, and, um, and and then this short-term moving average, this yellow line is the five, right? If we lose the short-term mo momentum, uh, I would say, you know, honor thy stops. I mean, that's what I've been doing all morning long in some names that I've gotten. And, you know, I've been taking, as I've been talking about every day, um, you know, I, I loaded up on some positions around the lows and I've been peeling out of them and, you know, trying to make sure that I get as much profit as I can. Um, but all at the same time, if we start to turn lower again, I'm not going to get caught. No way, no how, no shape. <laughs> so cues, uh, same picture. You know, interesting with the, the, you know, right at the 200-day moving average, which is where we rallied up to on the close yesterday, um, right around the open. That's where we stalled as well. So that's going to come into play. That's a major resistance level. Um, you could see as I'm talking right now, which I'll try to keep this video short because price is moving pretty quickly right now. The VIX is moving up here the VXN which is the VIX for the Qs also moving up IWM was holding in pretty decently um, but is now in the red as well IWM was your outperformer and a lot of reversal bars going on biotech was well bid which is was very strong yesterday um, you could see that's also coming down down now down 60 basis points after starting the day up around a half a percent up one percent square is a name that got off to the races right on the first 10 minutes of the day uh, has been coming in I'm now out of square for now I will look to put that trade back on I think square could possibly rally into their earnings but um, you know I made a lot of money I got in at 68 bucks and you know let's not be too greedy here I got out at 70 uh, a little bit above 77 uh, today so you know that's a hell of a gain in a couple of days uh, can it get back above sure so I'll go back into that um, you know, also a couple other trades, CVNA, um, that was a trade that I got out of, out of uh, it hit the VPOC that I was talking about, that I sent out as, a, as the target. Here it is, version point of control, um, hit that. We'll see what it does from here, so I'll keep an eye on it. Um, also, AMD exited this morning uh, on that, also breaking down, you know, or, or not, you know, not pushing higher. Um, Abbott, I took a price target in. So, you know, now I want to be a little bit conservative, uh, especially when we see this. The VIX is, is ripping here, uh, back up 20 right now, and same thing with VXN. So, uh, like I said, I'm not getting caught in this, and I'm respecting stops. Every time that I get stopped on, you know, and these are, these are positions where I'm up in, but it's a trailing stop, right? Uh, once I get out of a position, what I do is I, I put in a, um, a new alert on a reclaim level. So for, for example, uh, I'll show you where I did that in square. If I could bring up the five minute bar and this takes so long. <laughs> uh, square, yeah, I mean, it's basically not doing anything bad here, but basically I wanna see it get back over, uh, you know, back over this, this line here. So I've got a target. Uh, or, or an alert to get back into square if it uh, if it comes back here a little bit. 
But um, um, today's price, or, you know, today's option activity, Apple, I would say two-way, there was some calls. There's a lot of stuff going up on the bid side. Puts are trading a lot more than calls in Apple this morning, but um, most of them are, are going up on the bid side. Uh, a lot of two-way, uh, you know, two-way stuff where I see the aggressive stuff. Uh, a couple other signals that I saw this morning. Uh, LMT, you know, a lot of stuff going out to, to June. Um, LMT saw some June calls go up, you know, something a little bit different. Uh, this is the five-minute bar uh, who's not able to stay above value. So that was a name that I was looking at. Unfortunately, the options are really wide in, in LMT. Um, also, some win calls that went out for a little bit further. So there's a couple trades this morning, but um, you know the, now is the time when when the VIX is is ratcheting up here, is to be a little bit conservative and 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 watch uh, you know levels in, in individual names. The jobs report that came out, um, pretty much kind of what we've been seeing is it's been you know strong. Uh, you know, we beat on the on the private payrolls by 50,000. Uh, so what I'm looking at uh, when the dust settles for the day is maybe MA, MasterCard, Visa, PayPal, uh, because a average hourly earnings uh, came in in line with expectations. But this is a good jobs report. And I think, you know, the credit card companies are not a bad place to go to when you've got strong jobs numbers. Of course, um, this still gives ammo to the Fed to increase rates for December and into next year so you know there's going to be still that draw of liquidity so um you know that's why i'm being very careful right now with positions and, and positioning um and being conservative not having a big book of things and making sure that i'm hitting targets um what else any anything else to mention for the day um i i think that's i'm kind of just you know just to reiterate what i'm doing is just basically sitting on my hands we'll see where this vix wants to go and then uh, we'll see how far down we go and we'll see if we're still holding. But um, got plenty of time, you know, uh, not rushed to overtrade this market right now and kind of just let the chips uh, fall where, where, where they do, uh, where, where they fall. So that's it for a quick midday. Um, again, not doing much trading except for, you know, taking took a lot of profits on the open. Uh, and then we'll watch a couple names that I just mentioned. Uh, there's a few other names that I'm watching. Um, yeah, the C CVNA, um, also I is a name. Uh, we'll see where that closes today. You know, this is a name that I think can just be traded in stock rather than uh, rather than options because the options are so, the implied volatility is so high. Um, and that's it. So we'll, we'll leave it there for the uh, midday session. Have a great day, everybody.